at hashtag X Games. Men's Moto X, heat number three, Taylor Robert, the fastest rider in qualifying, third fastest, but fastest from this group. I did want to mention also, recently coming off hard enduro win here in California, last dog standing, being called the hardest enduro in the United States. Also highlight Tanaka from Japan, he recently was the top five finisher at Erzberg Enduro. There's Taylor Robert, the number 33 above the, aboard the Monster Energy Kawasaki. The team bringing a lot of big hitters here. Unfortunately, teammate Justin Soule not here. Look at that shot out of a cannon. It looked like Taylor Robert, he overshoots the turn. Wow, a little bit of chaos right out of the gate. And it's going to be the youngster, Stuart Baylor, I believe, to the front. He has a broken wrist, and it's his first ever enduro cross competition. Taylor Roberts setting in second. This number seven is Kyle Redman, who Jeremy we rode with in Baja. Yeah, but he's a rider. Unbelievable rider. Oh, yeah. But they only qualified two, and he's sitting in third, so he's got some work to do. Let me tell you about Stuart Baylor. He qualified in the 18th position. That tells me that Taylor Roberts. Number 33 should be able to make quick work of him on speed, uh -oh. but oh, Kyle Redmond tips over. He's going to give up that third place. Oh, and we have a stack up. Big Stuart time. Baylor looking good, though. Youngster, huge chaos. This is Enduro Cross chaos right here. Wow. Kyle Redmond all twisted on the number seven. Uh, Tanaka, who we talked about earlier from Japan, he's already hit the dirt a couple times in practice here, and they, these are your leaders. How tough is that chopped wood, Jeremy? You ever ridden through anything like that? <laughs> yeah. I personally haven't. Uh, no, no, I haven't, actually. And I, it, these guys are the best in the world, and they, it's difficult. I rode at the last dog standing, and my tongue was wagging. I didn't make it to the last moto. Taylor Robert laughing a double moto at the end, so an oh. hour and 40 minute race, if I'm not mistaken. All day racing, and look at this, feet off. He's got the skis out, and Taylor Roberts gonna make him pay for it. Oh yeah. The 18-year-old slipped back. Nice pass right there. Taylor, Taylor Roberts. Roberts. Yeah. Doing the step over the logs right there, a little photo style. 21 years old. Just showing the other guns how it's done here. He's been laying down some wins also in the work series. He's a bad dude on a dirt bike. I saw him riding the Ducati Air Scramble this year. I was like, come oh. on. Yeah, like, whoa. Uh-oh. Frightening. Taylor Robert getting it done. Super nice guy. And he has put it together. He's been on the podium a couple times recently. At the end of last year, at the beginning of this year's season, he's really starting to shine. At first, when he came to the Enduro Cross Series, my personal opinion was that he felt like he was fast enough to win, but he might have pushed you hard at some spots. He had to find his rhythm. and. Second place, Stuart Baylor getting the matrix to get the best of him there. The number 514, he's in qualifying position. His first ever X Games, his first ever Enduro Cross. Is he getting nervous there or what? Because he's starting to lose a little bit of time. And uh, we see him making a few mistakes right there. He's the youngest rider in the competition. And. Uh, Taylor Robert looking really good out in front, though. He's got a big lead now. Should, should flow through the rest of the tank pretty easily. He's the current points leader, too, Stuart Bay. Oh, wow, look at this through the Matrix. Some hang-up, but Taylor Robert not have problems. The youngster, 18 years old, Stuart Baylor, that we were talking about, he's the current points leader in the 2012 AMA National Enduro Series. And if you think I'm brilliant with my facts, I really am not. My buddy BJ Smith is throwing me all this good information. He's our researcher. And X Games research really making huge moves for us here in the announce booth. Jeremy, this kid making huge moves. He's having some problems, but seemingly no one wants to battle him for that second position. Yeah, yeah, Thank thankfully for him, right? Yeah, I mean, he's been trying to give it away. Yeah, we've seen a lot of mistakes out of him. You know, I mean, hey, this is their first heat race of the night. Maybe some nerves flowing, but. Uh, not for Taylor Robert, who's got it clean, looking right out in front there. They'll be getting the white flag this time around. Kyle Redmond, look at this, having to make a decision. How many times on uh -oh. uh oh Taylor Robert having a problem. And I'm being very careful to say Taylor Robert. For the last two years, I've been calling him Taylor Roberts because I just think it sounds good. Yeah. Is that yeah. wrong? It flows. It really does flow. He's on and the white flag. Look at this, and he's got a pile up in the rocks. 
the number nine there from Canada. That's Bobby Croft now, one of the favorites on the series. And Taylor Robert just really decimating this field, looking so solid. He had a little slip up in the matrix, but we saw great things in the other heats, and he'll have a great gate pick for the main event. That is so important. Yeah, so, so important. I mean, being on the inside coming down to that U-turn start is going to be key. He's definitely going to have a good, good position. Back on the rocks, we're looking at Taylor Robert, but Kyle Redmond just moved into the second position. Another mistake by Baylor, cost him that transfer spot. Here comes Taylor Robert into the matrix. Last turn, checkered flag. That is one stoke 21 year old right there going to the main event. That was a very nice ride. The question is, who's gonna be second? They're telling Taylor he's gotta wait. These guys are all lappers. No disrespect meant, but Taylor Robert was on point. Second place has yet to finish. And it's gonna be Kyle Redman. That's right. Coming around on the number seven. Qualified 27th, he's on the FMF Husqvarna. And he gets it done for that second and final transfer position. He's been riding with an injured ankle. We know how good this guy rides. We were talking about on the Baja Bonanza we rode with him. Unbelievable talent. Yeah, this guy's a really great rider. And to be 30 seconds down, he had a problem early in the race, so he's gonna be digging that he got a qualifying, qualifying spot there. Stuart Baylor has to be bummed. Jeremy, take us through the start. Look, Taylor Roberts shot out of a cannon, but he got on the brakes early. Well, there was got, a battle there. Looked like he got a little help from behind there. Went a little wide in the corner and gave Baylor the uh, opportunity there. Here's trouble for Kyle Redman. This was earlier in the race. Look at Eric Roten on the number 16 having problems. Brock now. Tanaka. Oh, man. <laughs> Utter chaos. That's what it looks like out on those hard enduro courses where you can't see anybody. We'd come to sections recently at that event I was talking about, and there'd just be people littered all over the place. You try to go by, don't wait in line is what I was told. Never wait in line, just go Never for it. Never wait in line. I, when I rode others Brig Enduro, same thing. You'd come to a spot, be 10 guys. Here's Kyle Redman, again, injured ankle and all. Hasn't been riding much, but he looked good enough to get second. We know six of the 10 that are in the final or main event, and there they are. Some of the biggest hitters in the sport. When we return, when we return, we will have the last chance qualifiers where we'll get more people to that main event. Enduro X. And we have seen all of the heats completed. We will see the LCQs for the men. We'll qualify two more from two LCQs. And then of course, we will get to the women's final and the men's final, but right now for more, on the dirt, the rocks, the water, the logs, the matrix. Let's get it down to Aaron. It's definitely chaos out there. And all the guys that have come up here after their heat race have said it is extremely slick out there. So the key to the final event is going to be patience. Got to slow down just a little bit in order to go faster. It's going to be all about throttle control, but it's important to maintain consistency. That's what they keep saying. Be consistent, make it happen. It's the only thing to do to keep on two wheels. Keep on two wheels. It sounds easy when you say it, but I promise it's not. Hey, the Nationwide Series heads to Daytona, where Austin Dillick, Dillon and Danica Patrick will take on NASCAR's biggest stars at one of the most exciting tracks in racing. The Subway Jalapeno 250 at Daytona. Coverage begins Friday at 7 on ESPN. Wow. I'll tell you, this track is a lot tougher, I think, than people originally gave it credit for, Jeremy. Yeah, for sure. You know, this track, we said earlier, it's it's a little more open than, say, the last year's Enduro X course, but which means these guys are riding faster. We thought it might be a little easier. It turns out it's pretty darn difficult. And uh, one of the things I was wondering is these off-road guys use recluse clutches sometimes. That might be why they're not stalling it out there. So oh, check yeah. this out. A little social alert, Ricky Fowler at Ricky Fowler PGA. He's pumping it up. Gotta love it. Hey, Enduro X, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's really the favorite thing I do all year. I travel to a lot of stuff and I, I go to all these events as well. It is so much fun to watch this live. And right now I'll tell you, if you wanna hashtag something, you can hashtag X Games. 
Enduro X. Hard dirt bike riding. Yeah. How about this hard Enduro? 46, yeah. Kendall Norman up there. A multi-time Baja 1000 winner. Rookstool, who is a big star inside the series. Colton Haker, your second fastest qualifier out there. 